Okay, you guys, so I don't know why I keep doing this to myself, but I ordered another one of the ThreadUp DIY designer boxes. <sighs> I'm not impressed, so let's just get into this unboxing. Hey guys, I'm Kay and you've arrived in my weird little corner of the internet, welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I also sell locally and antique booths and list occasionally on Mercari and Depop. And as most of you know, if you're not new here, I have a serious ThreadUp addiction. Um, I became a ThreadUp ambassador um, in late 2022. Um, for more about that, I will link a video in the description so that you can apply if you want. Um, so basically in exchange for doing one static feed post on my Instagram per month, I get $50 in credit, which thankfully I use to purchase this box. Again, this is the Thread up DIY designer box. It's normally $140 for seven items, so $20 a piece. I paid $90 because I used $50 in credits, so it's a little over $12 per item. I did peek in this box. I wasn't that impressed with the last one, and I still haven't sold most of those items. Um, I'm still not impressed with this one, even though I paid $90. Um, so let's get into it. You guys might think it's better than I do, but I also have trouble selling designer, so like I said, I don't know why I even do this to myself and order this box, but this is only my second time ordering it. This is what it looks like inside. It's from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Yes, I am wearing the same top that I did the last time I did this specific unboxing because it's like the only designer item I have. It's Zadig and Voltaire. I bought it from Poshmark using Posh Credits, and I love it. Um, okay. Let's get started. This first piece is one of the things I'm not too impressed by, though I'm sure it'll do fine. It's just I don't find it exciting. Um, so this is Ralph Lauren. It is the black label, which I believe is the higher end label, the one you want to look for. Um, it's a size medium. Let's see what the fabric is. 100% um, cashmere. So yeah, this one will probably do okay, but I just I'm not jazzed about it. It's like a cable knit. It's going to be really hard to see. Let's see if I can show you a close up there. Um, it's a little linty, but it's like a cable knit sleeveless turtleneck thing. It would be really great probably under a blazer or over like a dress shirt. Um, I just, it's not something that I would pick up regardless of whether it's Black Label Ralph Lauren. I definitely wouldn't have spent $12 on it if that makes sense. If you would have, awesome but it's just not what I look for. Um, this is another Ralph Lauren. So in the first box that I got, I got two pieces of St. John, and I think those were the only two items I've sold out of the seven pieces. I got a really trashed Longchamp bag in that box, and a couple pairs of shoes, which were also pretty trashed. And I, get, I know the box is called DIY, so they're supposed to be like in need of TLC, but still, ugh. Um, so this one is the purple label Ralph Lauren. I don't know the difference, to be honest. I don't really pick up Ralph Lauren. This one does have an authenticity barb on it. Um, that's what these things are. Um, these are, um, what are you made of? Cotton blend. They're just like a khaki chino pant. Just, eh. B basics, blah. Not, I'm not into it. Um, I also got... A Longchamp bag again. This one is a mini one and it's in better shape. The other one had several holes Including all four corners. This one looks okay um, A couple of the corners are starting to get little holes, but they're not anything crazy. It's gonna be impossible to see It says lay pliage Longchamp type S. I don't know what the S means um, If you know, please let me know. I don't really find too many designer pieces um, it looks to be okay. It does, again, have the barb on it. Um, the inside is a little dirty, but a baby wipe will clean that up no problem. So I definitely will list this one. I mean, I will try to list all of these to make my $90 back, but one more clothing piece, and then the other three items are shoes. 
This one I had never heard of before. Um, so if you have any experience with it, please let me know. It's by Maline Berger. I am most definitely butchering that. This is what the tag looks like, a little barb again. Um, this piece is made of what? Size 40, by the way. Um, cotton, 100% cotton. Um, I did do some research on this after I peeked in here and the comps are kind of all over the place. This is like a very long dress shirt. I don't know, the buttons are on the left, so it is women's, um, but it's like tunic length, so I don't know if you're meant to wear it as such or tuck it in. I don't, I'm not good with fashion, even though I sell it online. Um, and again, three pairs of shoes. Okay, oh, here's my invoice buried in there. The first pair is a pair of Longchamp shoes. So I got two Ralph Lauren and two Longchamp. I have never seen Longchamp anything but the Le Pliage bag. So I don't know how these would potentially do. Um, they're like a ballet flat, which I know ballet flats are kind of on trend right now. So maybe these will do okay. Um, they are a size 38. This is what the bottoms look like. Definitely been worn. Um, they do have some scuffs, if you guys can see right here on the back. Um, and this little toe is scuffed right here. Maybe some Dark Martin's Wonder Balsam will fix that. Um, they're okay. I would maybe have paid $12 for these just to see how they do, but um, they definitely need some um, zhuzhing up, I guess. This is the other shoe, again, more wear on the toe and they need maybe a little bit of reshaping um, especially in the interior so eh. um, these are i think vintage givenchy givenchy i i don't know i know it's not givenchy that's all i know um, but that tag looks pretty old made in italy they definitely have some crud on the inside in the toe box from being worn they also look Pretty small, yeah, five and a half. Here's the bottoms. Um, they've been worn quite a bit. Um, they put like a little triangle on the bottom of the heel, so I don't know what that's about, but this is what they look like. Definitely a vintage style and a teeny tiny size. I would be a little bit happier with these if they were uh, a bigger size. Um, I think five and a half is gonna be harder to sell. The toes look okay. Um, again, probably some Doc Martens Wonder Balsam. I love that stuff. It's like $10 for a jar and the jar lasts forever. These were probably my favorite thing in the whole box. Um, and this is Prada. I have sold Prada a couple times um, on my own. I've also gotten one in a men's uh, men's designer box from ThreadUp that did okay on the real rail after I complained that they only sold it for $50. Um, but that's a story for another day. So these are just, everything just fell. Um, these are a little sandal, like a cork bottom, gold snake skin, or python if you wanna be fancy. Straps, Let's see, oh, there we go, you guys can see. These are probably in the best shape out of all the shoes, they say Prada on the soles. Here's the other one. They do have a little bit of toe imprint on them. That happens with all cork footbeds. Um, and they do have some wear on the straps, but I still think I can get more than the $12 for these. I don't know if you guys can see, they got a little bit of like wear and tear on the snakeskin. So we got Prada shoes, this Maline Berger shirt, um, the Ralph Lauren cashmere, the Longchamp mini bag, the Ralph Lauren chino pants, um, the Givenchy heels that look vintage, and the Longchamp ballet flats. So those are my seven items. Um, I have seen good ones 
of these on YouTube. I've seen really bad ones. This one isn't like super bad. I'm just not impressed. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I just, I don't know. It's a lot of money for only seven items and I even used a $50 off. And if I paid $140 for this, I'd be even more <laughs> unimpressed by it. So I don't know. I just, it is what it is. You're buying a mystery box, so I can't be like super angry at ThreadUp for putting this box together the way they did. I've gotten some really good boxes from ThreadUp, especially the shoes. I have made lots of money on the shoe boxes and I forever love those. Those are my favorite. I have made money on the denim box, though I haven't bought one of those in a while. Um, the DIY scrap fabric one, which I don't even think they have anymore. Um, I would not buy that one again. Not a fan. Um, I ordered it twice. The second box, I pretty much donated the entire thing. Um, that's just the way it goes when you order mystery boxes online. It's part of the fun for me because I like to open them and be surprised at what I get. Um, the Thread Up Activewear one, I wouldn't purchase again. I did get it the one time and it wasn't bad by any means, but if you know me at all and have been around my channel, I have no problem finding and sourcing activewear on my own. So I don't feel the need to spend $54 to buy it from ThreadUp um, to get like C9 by Champion when I can spend the same amount per item, maybe a little bit more and get Lululemon and Athleta and Varley and Vuori and the brands that I actually like and enjoy selling and that do well for me. Um, so. I get this one, well I got this one and I yeah, got it one other time because I don't really find too much designer in my area. Um, I do have quite a few local resellers that um, go to the store way more frequently than I can being only part time and working during the day um, and they usually scoop all that good designer stuff so I kind of have to make do with what I'm able to find. So this was a good way to you know get some experiences with some potential new brands like that one dress shirt. Um, but yeah, $12 roughly a piece. You let me know in the comments down below how you think this box was. Like I said earlier, I don't think it was really bad in any way. Um, it could have been a heck of a lot worse. Um, most of the items are in okay shape. They don't have like holes or big stains or anything like that, which is more than I can probably expect for something labeled as DIY. Um, so I just, it's not for me. I don't think I will order one of these again, but maybe I'll be swayed. Um, if I, you know, let some credits build up and I see them come online again. So we'll see. I'm not saying never, never say never, but for right now, I don't think this box is a good investment for me. You might think differently. Um, hopefully it won't take me too long to get these listed. The last time I ordered one of these, it took me forever to list all seven items. Um, and I think I've only sold two, like I said, so. But yeah, that's this box. So let me know in the comments down below how you thought it was overall, what your favorite item was. And if you liked it at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And as always, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here and my weird little family on the internet. And I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.